announcements this evening for our fifth Sunday uh, singing night. Uh, we will be doing things a little bit differently. Normally we have classes on Sunday evenings, but this being a fifth Sunday, we will be having a singing night tonight. Um, just generally to uh, let you know about the order of worship tonight, um, we'll sing one song here. I'll lead us in one song, uh, and then we'll have an opening prayer. Scott Miller will lead that for us. Then a few of our young men are going to uh, lead some songs. I know that uh, Martin and Will, I think, uh, were going to lead us uh, in a few songs. Um, and then, um, uh, let's see, Donovan Hamlet will lead us um, in a few. And then uh, I'll lead a few. And then uh, I think Phil, if he's uh, here, to, I haven't even been able to touch base with him. But regardless, uh, we might have Phil Barrett uh, leading us a song. Phil, are you here? I didn't see him earlier, and I've been trying to run around. Okay, so I will, I'll lead a few more then, and then uh, Drew Clark will lead us in a few, and I'll lead a few more, and then Chris uh, will deliver us uh, the invitation uh, this evening. At the appropriate time, the invitation song will be The Blood That Stained the Old Rugged Cross. It's not in our books, but uh, we will be um, singing a lot of songs probably tonight that, that uh, might not be in our books or folks might not be uh, familiar with. Um, let's see here. Anything else we need to announce? I think that'll get it. Our first song this evening will be number 345, It Is Well With My Soul. I thought we'd start off with one that uh, we know and we know fairly well to, to get us warmed up. Uh, again, after this song, Scott Miller will lead us in an opening prayer. Uh, and then uh, we'll see uh, Martin, Martin Nance. Uh, go ahead and come up here and then Will and then any of the other uh, young guys, young men that want to lead us in a song. One other thing I did fail to announce. Uh, we will be doing communion um, in room 105. Um, that will happen after the invitation. And so uh, I'll let you know when it's time. You'll just basically make your way there uh, during the closing song if you need to partake communion. Number 345. When peace like God.
did fail to make one more announcement, and that is all song leaders, when you announce your songs, please announce the verses for the guys in the booth. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise your name. Father, we praise you that it is well with our soul. We praise you that you sent your Son so that we can be with you for eternity. Father, we look forward to the day where faith is sight and we can be with you forever. Father, we pray for this evening. We pray that we continue just lift your name in praise so that we can grow as a congregation, grow closer to you, and grow closer to each other. Father, we pray for the youth of this church. We pray for your hand to help guide them. And Father, we pray as school is about to begin with the college as well as with those at grade school, help them to continue to focus in your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, we'll start with some of our young men. Martin's going to come up here and lead us in a song. I know uh, Will also will. So, Will, if you'll just come up after Martin. And then any other of our young men who would like to lead us in a song as well, come up uh, after Will. I will be leading All Fly Away, number 824, all verses. Some glad morning. Sing number 394, Winning on the Everlasting Arms, all three verses.
Okay, would any other of our young men like to lead a song at this time? Don't all jump up at once now. All right, well, I think we've got a treat here because Donovan is going to lead us in a few then, and Donovan is going to teach us a new song, and I really appreciate someone. Uh, you know, I told folks in the class that there are people who have forgotten more about music than I know, and uh, Donovan is one of those uh, in this congregation probably, except he doesn't forget anything. But uh, he's going to teach us uh, a new song here tonight and uh, probably sing a few more. So, uh, Donovan? Let's start with number 173, uh, verses 1, 2, and 4. God of our fathers, who's almighty hand, leads forth in beauty of the starry band of shining worlds in splendor through the skies. Of our grateful songs before thy throne of right, thy love divine hath led us in the past. In this free land, by thee our love is cast. Be song is called Do Not Abandon Me. It's a four-part song, kind of like um, Greatest Commands, Magnificat, like we sang this morning. It's a song that the, the youth and I have been working on this summer. I introduced it, at camp, introduced it at camp. So it starts with the tenors, then we add the altos, then the basses, then the sopranos. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and sing this through once. I'm going to introduce the parts. And then once we all are comfortable with it, then we'll go through and run it through a second time. So starts with <laughs> individually first and then after that we'll go through and put them all together so alto part mm. oh lord all oh, my sighings hidden not from you to you my desires are known my sight forsakes me my heart betrays me my sin Mm-hmm. 
come together and sing just together. So uh, th this part goes, come near, O Lord, I wait for you, my master and my God. All right, are you ready to try it with all of us together now? <laughs> I know it's a lot. Um, I'll, I'll also take it a lot slower. I took it a little fast while we were learning it. So, starts with, remember it's tenors, altos, bass, sopranos.
guys did great with that. Thank you. Beautiful song. Thank you very much, Donovan. I have my work cut out for me to learn that. <laughs> That's a minor key song. Um, if you don't know just a little bit here about, as we learn more about singing and sing together, that song is written using different notes on the scale, and that's why it has that different sound to it. Um, trying to think of Flea as a Bird and other songs like that are written in a minor key, and that's what gives it that different sound. And um, very beautiful words that just kind of remind me of some of the things that, that uh, David wrote, for instance, in the psalm. So thank you. Uh, we're going to sing Just Beyond the Rolling River uh, next, and um, so this one is not in our book, but uh, I think some of us know it. <clears throat> Just beyond the Your song leader made the mistake of leading this the first time on a Wednesday night when our young folks were off at camp and not thinking about it. <laughs> and so we missed some of those uh, beautiful voices uh, singing the song. It's not an easy one to learn. You'll see there's a lot of, of ties and things that are in it, but I appreciate uh, those that were in our class that uh, put some time into learning this. And I think you'll hear it's a really pretty song and hopefully there's plenty of voices for you to, to pick up on this if you don't know it. Magnificent, marvelous, matchless love to vast and astounding to tell forever existing in worlds above, now offered and given to all. O fountain of beauty eternal, the Father, the Spirit, the Son, so Magnificent love. 
Uh, next, we'll sing In Need. I think we've sung, sung this a time or two before. Um, probably a good time if you'd like to just to stretch out and stand. Go ahead. If you'd like to, please stand. Um, after this song, Drew, if you want to lead uh, however many songs you want to lead, <laughs> you'll be up. In need of grace, in need of love, in need of mercy raining down by all, in need of strength, in need of peace, in need of things that only you can give to me. In need Let's sing I Come to the Garden Alone, number 805. And we'll sing the first and last verses. I come to the garden
a bit of a la last minute replacement for a song I, that I had picked before. And I thought I would try and sing it since we don't sing it very often, but I didn't remember it as well as I thought I did. So sorry about that. Uh, now let's sing uh, number nine, A Wonderful Savior. And we'll do the first and last verses of that as well. Mm -hmm. A wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Lord, a wonderful Savior to me. He died for my soul in the cleft of the rock, where rivers of pleasure I see. He died for my soul in the cleft of the rock, that shadows of my thirst and see next song this evening will be Dare to Stand Like Joshua. It is also um, not in our books, but will be on the screen. This song, uh, of course, just it's one of those songs that's a little newer, but um, it sounds like one of those songs that's traditional, and it's just a really easy song to learn if you don't know it. It has a very good message. We are bound for King. to deliver the invitation. We will sing, My Eyes Have Seen Your Glory. It's a beautiful song. Um, Mark McClish uh, recommended that we sing this one. 
And sometimes in that class, that singing class, I was challenged to, to learn uh, new songs. And uh, even when you first learn it, it, it gives you chills. And this was that kind of song. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. I have seen you So glad we could take the time tonight to, uh, to worship God in song. It was always so great to uh, have the opportunity to gather with our brothers and sisters and sing about the goodness, the greatness, and the amazing love of our Creator. At camp, I said something, and then I thought to myself, huh, I like that. I think I'll say that again. Uh, and tonight is one of those times where I'm going to uh, say it Again, uh, worship is transformational. As we spend time worshiping uh, our God, our Creator, as we sing of uh, His marvelous love and our great need for Him, and then think about the need 
that he met in sending his son uh, to die on the cross for our sins, um, our lives are, are touched, our uh, spirits are humbled, our mind is turned toward who we are in light of who God is. And our lives are, are challenged, and we're challenged in our walk, but we're also encouraged in our walk and, and uplifted in our walk. And uh, as we were singing, Colossians chapter 3 came to mind. Colossians chapter 3, starting in verse 15. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with, thanks, with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. See, I think Colossians 3 and verse 16 uh, points to the power of our singing and what makes our worship transformational. Verse 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. And as we sing these songs, they are pointing us to Scripture. They're pointing us to the image of Jesus and the image of God that we can read in Scripture. And as we are meditating on these things, we are challenged, we are motivated, inspired, and empowered to live for Christ. And it's because of the fact that they point us to Scripture. They have us think of the Word of God and the message of the Gospel that is conveyed. So I want to challenge us today to allow the Word of God to dwell in us richly, not just through our Bible reading, our daily Bible reading, but also, uh, also in, in song. I hope that we can allow the songs that we've sang tonight or the songs that we sang this morning or uh, another song that we sing from time to time in worship uh, to... Uh, be on our mind some this week. I hope that we can uh, reflect on the goodness of God throughout this week and allow the words of the songs that we know to challenge us spiritually, to encourage us, and to help us in our walk. It's interesting. It says in verse 15, And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. You know, when we're thinking of the Word of God, when we're thinking of the greatness of our God and His love, and we're thinking of the songs that we sing that convey those messages, it becomes a lot easier to be thankful. It becomes a lot easier to be at peace. And in a world full of troubles and anxieties, and hardships, we can use all the peace that we can get. So let's spend some time this week meditating on the Word of God, meditating on the greatness of God, and let's allow the songs that we sing in worship to be a tool to help us, to be a tool to help us uh, in thinking on the Word of God and on His wonderful nature. We want to encourage you tonight in any way that we can. If you are a Christian who is struggling in their walk with Christ, we want to allow this to be an opportunity for you to make things right. We, uh, as a family of Walter Hill, uh, are a very loving group of people. If you're a member of this congregation, you know just how loving and, and what a special place uh, Walter Hill is. And I hope you know that we are here to help you and support you in any way that we can. And if you have a need tonight, please please let us help you. We would love to pray with you. We would love to encourage you. And still there are some who have yet to put on Christ in baptism. 
There's some who have not yet begun their journey with Christ. And we want to invite you tonight to do that as well. We want to invite you to repent of your sins, to confess that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Make Him Lord of your life by going down into the waters of baptism and coming up a new person. A new person in Christ. If you have any need whatsoever tonight, please allow us the opportunity to help you as together we stand and sing. Oh,